So this week I was pulling out uh, in a, just a, a big parking lot, right? I was, not, I, was, I was actually driving straight, right? And this lady just backs up. Don't know, just backs up. I just slam on my brakes a little bit. Not too bad, right? And I'm going to open up to you all. I'm going to share a little bit on, on, on Scotty here. I was annoyed. Now I'm just going to be honest with you. I was a little annoyed at it, right? But that's all right. I'm a pastor, right? And so I did get a little bit close. Not crazy close. Not like crash close. Just enough so that anybody watching goes, oh, yeah, he's annoyed, right? It was just a little bit. So then she stops, right? And then she rolls down the window, which I went, oh, maybe they go to the church. Maybe somebody, I don't know. So I roll my window down. And then I found out very quickly, I don't think she goes to the church. <laughs> Based on the, the, the four letters of words that we used, it, all beautifully strung out, she was not excited about the, our interaction, which I'm fine, whatever. I said, oh, you're good. I go, I, get, I don't know in what world you live in. I had the right of way, but it's no big deal. I said, you have a great day. I have a great day. And then she said, Jesus loves you. No, she said something different. And so <laughs> off she goes. She turns like this, and I'm going straight. But then I, I, my mind went like this. I saw our exit. We're both going for the exit. I know this. And now I felt like my whole life all made sense. Everything, my entire existence was for this moment. I was going to beat her to the exit. I knew this. Knew it with all my heart. I had a little bit longer route. And also, her route had no speed bumps. Mine had five speed bumps. But that's okay, because I'm driving the Jeep. And a Jeep can take a speed bump at 38 miles per hour. How do I know that? Because I did it. And so, <laughs> no, I'm flying, right? I'm just hitting the speed, but it didn't matter. I'm just flying all the way down. And you can see, and I get it right right before she can and she has to stop right there right and so I rolled down the window and I did a pastorly thing I just went right little, little smile with the thumbs it's very loving that's very kind hey have a good day she returns it with this but how many people know that you were built for the speed bumps of life come on somebody out there that you have everything that you need to accomplish the purpose that God has and if I put it in God's hands, right? Pastor, I'm not smart enough. You don't have to be smart enough because he will give you the mind of Christ in every circumstance. Well, I don't have enough self-control to overcome this addiction. I get that. You don't. But in God's hands, is more self-control than you possibly need for whatever addiction that is out there. God, I don't have enough money to do a business. Yeah, but in God's hands, put your fish and your loaves of bread in God's hands and say, God, let's do this. I don't have enough love to make this work, marriage work. Put it in God's hands. You put that marriage in God's hands and say, you know what? I know, honey, we don't got enough love for to make this thing work to get around the block. But guess what? If we'll be in church every week and we'll hold hands and we'll pray together and we do life together and we'll read the word together and we do God's love together, how many know that it becomes a kingdom marriage? That if you'll take your little bits, just look around. 